Aquinas, Aaron Bullard and his great-grandmother Wilma Hoover say Aaron became addicted to meth at age 16 and was in and out of prison. After Aaron sobered up, Wilma purchased a trailer from the defendant for him to live in. But she misrepresented the condition, so she's suing to get her money back. Defendant Kay Tuggle insists the trailer in question belonged to her son, not her, and it was an as-is sale. Therefore, she denies owing for anything. Start with you all. This is Aaron, my great-grandson. I've raised him since he's four years old, and I got custody of him. All right, I sent him to school. He's a good boy. In 14, 2014, he got addicted to uh, meth. So he was in and out. How old was he? He was 16. 16. 16. Okay. So uh, he spent time in and out and then in, oh, in and out of what? Jail. Not rehab, huh? Go ahead. In 2018, he got caught for selling meth and he went up for a while. Well, in 19, 2019, he was released. And he's been good since then. He's been, um, he got him a job. He's worked there for two and a half years. He wanted his own place. So I was going to help him get a trailer. That's what he wanted. We had a place for it. So we read this ad in the paper that uh, trailer for sale, $4,000 used trailer for $4,000, so we made an appointment with Miss Tuggle to go see it. And it looked great. It had vinyl siding on it. And so we, I wrote her a check for $4,000 that day. And we were to pick it up, but we couldn't get it till she moved hers. So we waited and waited, and then, but we had five you did how long? Well, it's still sitting there. Okay. Let me allow her to give some background, then I'll get back yes. to you in, at that point. Yes. Okay. Um, well, life's been kind of hard for me. I lost a brother back in 79 of kidney disease. Mm -hmm. But uh, through all the ups and downs of then, through science and medical advancements, things have got better. But four years ago, my son, Patrick, the one who sold the trailer here, he got kidney disease. So he lives real close to me. And, I, you know, I try to help him. And if he calls me and asks me anything, I try to help him. And this is where we've got to today. 14, 2014, he got addicted to uh, meth. So he was in and out. How old was he? 16. 16. Okay. So uh, he spent time in and out. In and out of what? Jail. Not rehab, huh? Defendant Kay Tuggle sold a trailer to the plaintiffs, but the plaintiffs want their money back because they insist Kay misrepresented the condition of the mobile home. What happened here that caused you to sue her, ma'am? Well, we're in the same situation. Uh, $4,000 isn't something to just forget. We couldn't move the trailer. We got five, called five, which she gave us the names of these uh, movers. Each one of them would say, you know, we won't touch it. It'll fall down before we get it to the road. That's not true. And I talked to a man at MoDOT, and he said, well, it will not be able to put it on the highway. So I asked her for the check back, I mean the money. And she said, I don't have it. I've already spent it. And that was no, about yeah. that. You want to say anything, sir? Yeah, Your Honor. Uh, well, I feel like what my grandma was trying to say is that Really, what we were under the impression that the trailer was going to get moved or be helped move. Also, that she uh, had people help move by whom? Well, she was buying a trailer for, I'm pretty sure, Patrick, who she was telling you about, and they had movers to move that trailer to that were Who's supposed to move. Who took responsibility to move it? Um, she said that she had people for us, but she that's not, we were that's led not under the impression true. that she was having people. That's not true. Hold on, ma'am. What did you say again? Uh, that we were under the impression that she was had some movers already for the trailer that she was ridden. Okay, where did you get that impression? From her. It's also on the contract that says that she would move it or yes. have it move. No. Yes. Uh, she said you say she, yes, the grandmother says no. Y'all saying two different things. So she what do you said want me that to she would help us. Who do you want me to believe? 
She said she would help us find some movers. She, she said gave find the movers, not different. have it move. Those are two different things. All right, ma'am. Uh, what do you say the agreement was and what happened? Okay, my son had listed it. And so he was on dialysis. It was May the 22nd. So he called me. He said, do you mind showing it to them? And I said, no. So I met him. I showed him the house, all of it, told him everything that I knew about it totally. So they looked everywhere. And they said they liked it and they wanted it. And I said, okay, then we can write out a contract. But my son is not here. He's doing treatment. So they came back down to my house. You told them it was owned by your son? Yes, absolutely. Did she tell you that? No, honestly. Okay, her son never even signed the bill. I heard you, sir. You said no. Okay, ahead, well, on page one, the bill of sale that you have there, and it, it's, it's sold to Aaron where it's located and that the price was $4,000 as is. And also, Pat gave them... The washer, the dryer. Bill of sale sold a mobile home located. It will be picked up when the other home is delivered. Uh, I guess they are to pick it up. Yes. It's a pickup. All right. When the other home is delivered. What is the other home? I don't okay. know what that means. Pat got a new mobile home and it was delivered and the other one was pulled out and set there ready for them to be moved. It can be moved. It was moved uh, 11 years ago, and it was moved by a dump truck and a tractor. All right, any evidence you want me to review? Anybody? Um, don't, unless you want to see the check or the bill sell. No, we've all agreed that the money was paid. All right, sir? Heard? Yes. Could I say something? Sure. Okay. The check was made out to my son. Mm -hmm. I do not own the house, mm -hmm. never did own the house. Huh? All I was trying to do is do a favor to help them mm -hmm. and help my son. Mm -hmm. And then I get brought, brought into the middle of it. I don't think that's fair. But yeah, the check... Did you all write the check to her son? No, we wrote the check to her. No. Oh. No, on page okay. two. Well, this is going to be an easy one because I just got two different stories about perhaps what is the most important part. Defendant Kay Tuggle sold a trailer to the plaintiffs, but the plaintiffs want their money back because they insist Kay misrepresented the condition of the mobile home. And you say what page is pa the check pa on? Page two. Page it, two. It's, it's written to Patrick. Is your name Patrick? No. Is your son's name Patrick? Yes. Have a good day. Your claim is dismissed. I said you didn't write the check to her. You wrote it to Patrick. She Sue told Pat us to write Sue it to Patrick. Patrick. Have a good day. Do you think that you said that we could have a air conditioner that's in the washer and dryer, a washer, a dryer, a fridge, a stove? That will be mine. That if you get so can the I house. have that since I can't have the trailer we bought, or four thousand dollars back? If, if, if you if you got to move the house and it's all can in I the have, house. No, I don't think we can move the house. There's we, no one will what, touch it. No one what, move the are, house. What are we that. supposed to do with it? Uh, that, well, Obviously, whatever you want. Except there on your property, I guess. You mean you don't want it? You want to just leave it there for us? No. Ain't no one gonna move it. <laughs>